All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone in between, we are doing a quick guide about how you can split your audio to different tracks so that one track saves on Twitch uh, for your actual live stream and your VOD audio is saved completely different. Um, it is a great way to help protect yourself about, against DMCAs uh, because it will help take off your music from your VODs, which is what a lot of people are getting hit with copyright strikes for. Now, the thing to remember about this is that it is not a guarantee or it's not a complete safety net against getting DMCA'd. It is a way you can help protect yourself and make it so that the VODs that are saved to Twitch are a little bit more usable if you decide to strip them for content for YouTube, for example. So let's get straight into it. Um, our first step is we need to go ahead and grab a website of which we are um you know going to have our audio on for me i use pretzel rocks it's a free website um, or there's a premium version that just has dmca free music so it's safe to use on stream now first thing you need to do is you need to split your audio over onto different channels or, or different outputs i should say so we go into our sound settings and we go down to this app volume and device so within here, we can see all of the all of the different devices and all of the different programs that are giving off audio. For me, this is Google Chrome is where I'm playing my pretzels. Here you can see I have it split to the music channel on my Go XLR. If you don't have a Go XLR or an Astro headset or, or a system that has two audio outputs, there is a uh, audio cable device system that you can get for really cheap it's like five dollars i'll make sure i drop that in the settings down below um, but essentially you want to split it so that whatever you're playing music from whether it be spotify or, or something else is going to a different channel than everything else here you can see that everything else is going to my d is going to my <laughs> is going to my default which is my my system output all right from there we're gonna go over into our OBS and change our settings within OBS. So here you can see I have my OBS. First thing we're going to do is go into our settings and we're going to configure the VODs to go to two different sections. So here we go to our output. Within streaming, you want to hit Twitch VOD track, select that as two and your audio track to be as one. This means we have different audio tracks going out. So now let's go ahead and set up our actual audio that we just split. So from in here, we're going to go plus, we're going to put audio output capture. This is the audio that is being outputted by Chrome, AKA my pretzel rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. I also want my main mix to be captured, which is everything else. So for me, that is my main mix just there. Here you can see in our audio mixer, you see my main mix, you see my Chromix and see how they are on completely different tracks. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to define which one goes where. So we're going to go ahead and hit here. We're going to go ahead and hit advanced audio properties. From here, this is where we can figure our tracks. So track one is going to go be everything that goes out on the live stream. Track two is going to be everything that saves to the VOD. So here you can see I have my audio Chrome music turned off for VOD, uh, for track two, that means it will not be saved to my VOD. Um, if I didn't want, for example, my alert dings or anything like that to be going to that, I could go ahead and turn them off. On the weird occasion that I might not want them on my actual live stream, but I want them on the VOD, I could turn these off too. It's up to you. Um, but that's the main way how you can guys can split your music audio and your general audio so that your VODs do not have music in the background. Hope you guys found that helpful and yeah, thanks for watching.